नमस्कार मेरा नाम अखिलो वेडा है सीईओ ऑफ तेरामोटास कॉर्पोरेशन बट डोंट एक्सपेक्ट टू मच दिस इज द ओनली थिंग आई कैन से सो एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द माय परफेक्ट प्रोनंसिएशन ऑफ माय नेम दिस इज एक्चुअली सम पीपल कॉल लाइक यू वेडा और दैट इज परफेक्ट एक्चुअली सो टुडे आई लाइक टू शेयर द माय इनसाइट फ्रॉम द ईवी kind of the ecosystem provider point of view because uh, we've been sitting in india from 2016 in the ev space and then how we can support the, one of the uh, you know booming sector of logistics let me start with some figures uh, now uh, we are uh, doing the charging infrastructure business as well A lot of company uh, logistics companies coming to us uh, for asking for some infrastructure solution So almost like 68% in this country, the companies shifted to the EV for the logistics part, and then 30,000 plus company is already existing to try to shift to the EV. And here, I see the clear reason as well as the uh, you know or kind of uh, shape of the logistics becoming the EV, because the people always using the sustainability to talk about the environment and then to talk about the our uh, society. but from the charging uh, operator point of view how we can sustain our business that is very very important right and even for the logistics company as well and if we talk about the electric vehicle advantage for the logistics that is making a lot of economic sense because ev frankly speaking still is expensive for the end users but if we talk about the logistics industry we will use it uh, as much as we can right how much rotation we can make how much cost deduction we can get so alloy in logistics even in uh, logistics industry is very high for the ev so it makes a lot of economic sense both for logistics logistics company as well as the charging operator because a lot of usage is already coming for our hub and then let me just talk a little bit about our company as well uh, as i already mentioned oh, we are in india from 2016 and we are starting from the uh, three wheeler electric three wheeler segment and after that we coming to the finance business and then after that we are coming to the charging business and let me explain one by one and electric mobility business uh, we used to provide the l3 e rickshaw category passenger category but after that a lot of requirement is coming from the logistics company so we are now providing the l3 loader with the lead asset as well as the lithium ion and recently the, a big giants like amazon and flipkart they are also coming for the l5 cargo so we are now uh, developing and then introducing the l5 passenger and cargo in coming years and even this month we are uh, planning to exhibit our new models in the Delhi EV Expo so if you guys have a chance to come and see uh, we'd like to happy to discuss over there for the providing the vehicle there and second business is the finance business as you all may aware now the finance is also some kind of the headache for the uh, EV industry because uh, nobody knows about the uh, use uh, used uh, vehicle value compare with the ic however we are the manufacturer and we can control the quality by the japanese manufacturing technology as well as our experience we decided to go or uh, with the finance as well and we started like 3 years back now uh, going and giving a lot of profit to support the our business entirely and third one is um ev charging business there is the two vertical in this sectors one is the private and one is the public and frankly speaking public to doesn't make any money as of now because the number of the ev is very really less in the market and there is very less economic sense for the end users because still the price of the vehicle is very expensive compared with ic however if you come to the um private charging station there's a lot of uh, inquiries coming from entirely uh, like pan india so or even we started our business in uh, june 2023 in india for charging business we already having the six uh, branch in all tier 1 city because this is happening simultaneously in everywhere so what we do is very simple 
we are going to do the investment in advance and then uh, asking some margin for the uh, utilization and then uh, correcting back within three years, four years. But this is requires a lot of funds. But two things which we have to support the fund. One is we already having the business for e-mobility and finance. There's no charging provider who is having those entire business. So we can make the money from there. This is number one. Number two, uh, since I really want to be the, uh, you know, the support of the logistics as well as the infrastructure, we are already decided to go for the IPO in the coming year in the US market. So fund is also we are having the solution. And then from the realistic point of view, we are trying to support the e structures. So we use the supply chain here. But this supply chain is not the normal supply chain. Supply chain for the logistics company. If they need a vehicle, we are ready to provide our vehicle. And if they need the charging infrastructure, we are ready to provide. And even for the finance support, this is also we can provide. In the beginning, when we start here, a lot of people say you should focus on the business because you're the startup. You have to uh, focus in a uh, you know, specific segment. But I said no, because this is the industry. This is not the, just a business in it. If you want to succeed and grow in this space, you have to have the ecosystem in one umbrella. So since then, I decided to have an entire ecosystem, which is finance, mobility, and infrastructure. So now all set. So now we are ready to provide wherever you guys want. And then in this country, even whereas the topic of the G20 is the recession. One of the topics is the recession in that uh, uh, meeting. But look at the growth, uh, which we, I don't say India, it's we grow. It's like 7% in the GDP, right? So this country is growing. Growing means the economy is also all working and then uh, rotation is happening. Means logistics also uh, you know, happening in the factory. A lot of factories coming for the EV sectors and other sectors as well. Uh, and then in the previous session, they're discussing about the airplane also. A lot of, after the COVID, a lot of uh, people are coming from the outside. So this is the segment which we really need to make it together. Not only the logistics company from the EV space side and then private side, banking side, all of the other sectors, so to, uh, we need to support this sector. This, because this is the kind of the main to support the economic growth. Yeah, so if uh, we want to just simplify what we want to do here is just make it easy for everyone to do the logistics and then electrification for the logistics company. This is the, the uh, spec which you're planning to bring in the coming years. L5 categories, uh, lithium iron, and then um, late lithium capacities, uh, it says 500, but we are considering uh, 800 to one ton as well. And then uh, by using the fame, we try to reduce the reasonable price as much as we can. And then obviously finance support. And then these days we are recently tied up with the IoT company and then uh, providing the IoT device in the vehicle so that after we finance the vehicle, we can track two things. One is the uh, GPS location. Another thing is the how they run. Because normally our three-wheeler vehicle is used for the commercial purpose. So if they use it for taxi, if we uh, track the, the how much mileage they are giving every day, we can see the uh, ratio of the default, possibility of the default in the future. Now we are doing it manually, but uh, we are now trying to develop our own software, which we can do it by automatic, by AI. So from there also, we can see the credibility of the customer and then try to support the finance business as well. And this is mainly uh, the place where uh, we are giving the uh, charging. One is the charging hubs, which is mainly for logistics company and four wheeler uh, taxi company. And the route charge, which is the, uh, the highway. Because once the e flow of EV is coming in the society, the people will use the two places. One is the home charge, and another one is the load charge. So the, for the private, I'm supporting all the logistics and taxi company as a uh, infrastructure provider. But for the normal end users, we are now start giving 7.5 or like uh, our own 20 kilowatt DC chargers, a relatively small one of the home and route. That is what we do now. Yes, obviously for the software part as well, we are having our own software. And then I'm the really realistic guy. I don't really uh, think that I can uh, lock entire infrastructure market here, but I can be the enabler to somebody to make the uh, charging business uh, operator as well. So what we do is we provide the charging as well as the software. 
so that uh, people who don't have the experience, but they have the, some uh, interest as well as the fund, the regardless of the size, they can come into the market and try to co-create the market. So this kind of the ecosystem also, we are trying to achieve by the providing the hardware as well as the software for the charging. Yeah, and as I already mentioned, the obviously the, uh, the most fastest uh, electrification will happen, I believe, is in the logistics. So I really want to be a site to support from the infrastructure point of view, as well as the uh, manufacturer point of view. And obviously the finance also, if it's required, we are ready to provide. Basically my part is, I thought like this is the 15 minutes and even the schedule is also the behind. So my part is that's all about it. But if you guys have any questions, because th these old customer uh, people are my future uh, client. So if there's any questions or thought, uh, I'm happy to receive. Thank you very much for your attention.